everybody! Welcome back to my studio of Perpetual Mojo. I bet you wonder why I'm holding this great big butterfly. Well, when I used to sell my sculptures, I would make these to decorate the shelves, and people always wanted to buy them. So I decided to make a smaller, more manageable, wearable version, and I think you're going to like it. Sit back and relax, because we're going to go do some butterflies. The first step to making the butterflies is to take a plastic bag and put your piece of fabric in there. I've already done one so you can see the bag is a little bit gooey looking and I'm just going to pour a whole bunch of Elaine's fabric stiffener and draping liquid in there and then I'm going to Mush it up. I'm working it into the fabric. Alright, then the next thing you do is you try to get as much of the excess off as you can. And there's not a whole lot of it here. But this also helps to make sure that you have your fabric completely saturated. Now what I want to do here is fold the fabric in half with wrong sides together. I want these two to stick together as they dry. Next, I'm going to put it down here on this waxed paper, and I'm just going to squeeze out any wrinkles. I've made this doohickey from a piece of cardboard and a couple of V8 cans, small ones. and. If I just leave them like that, I think the bend in the wings is going to be too much, so I'm just going to slip something under there, and that's going to keep it from being too deep of a fold. I cut the material in half because I wanted to get two butterflies out of this piece of material. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is just freehand, and what I would like to do Let's see, yeah, this is going to be my big wing. It's going to be a little asymmetric. That's just the way I like it. So this wing is not going to be as big as the wing on this side is. There you have an asymmetrical butterfly. The fun part about doing the glitter this way is you don't have to wait for the other to dry before you go on to the next color. Oh, look how pretty! That's how I want my beads to go. So just keep on arranging and rearranging until you get the look that you want. This cool little eyeball bead is going to be my butterfly's head. Now you'll just roll a couple of antennas, antennae. Get it started so you can do it with your fingers. I have three holes punched through the spine, so I'm going to cut three small pieces of wire. Five inch ones. I guess that's not that small. fold those in half. Fold each wire, each of the short wires, in half but not too tight and put the ends down through the three holes. Now I have three loops. And I'm going to turn them so that they're open down the spine and I'm going to slip 
butterfly body into place. Okay, now butterfly's body is in place. Now we're just going to weave through the pin back. There's my little pin. Now, I know you're way too polite to say anything about it, but I've got a wire mess on the back of here. So I have beaded a loop of wire that I am going to string around that. And it'll be just a little surprise, a little Easter egg for the person that wears the pin. And pull it tight. And wrap the ends underneath down here and trim off the excess. Et voila! A beaded back pin. I want my beaded back, beaded back, beaded back. I want my beaded back, beaded back pin. Cut and twist. And that way the ends won't catch on your clothes. Oh, so cute. I hope that you enjoyed my little butterfly. I hope that you're inspired to try something like it. And I hope that if you do, you will share it with me, Candice at CoolToCraft.com, with high resolution photos and your story about your butterfly or anything at all. And I'll get it posted on our Creative Community blog. Check it out. There's lots of things you could do with these butterflies. I'm Candace, and I think it's cool to craft.